What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, guys, a huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Raycon's new everyday earbuds offer an improved rubber oil look and feel. They've also got optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. These right here, ladies and gentlemen, are my Raycon earbuds. I absolutely love these things. I've used them for years now, by far my favorite earbuds out on the market. Raycons offer eight hours of playtime and up to 32 hours of battery life. There's also a built-in microphone so you can take calls with a press of a button. Raycons start about half the price of other premium audio brands on the market but sound just as good. And the best part is Raycons come with a 45-day happiness guarantee. So go ahead and do yourself a favor. Click the link down in the description down below and go to buyraycon.com slash flare to unlock exclusive deals that get you up to 20% off your Raycon order. Like I said, Raycons are by far my favorite earbuds on the market. You take them out, you pop them in. They're never going to fall out. They're super comfortable. They don't hurt your ears. It is a absolute game changer. Where I use my Raycon earbuds the most is when I'm doing chores, mowing the lawn, so to be shoveling snow, long airplane rides, literally wherever you can take these suckers with you. They're super compact, super comfortable. Like I said, they don't hurt your ears and they don't fall out. If you guys at home are looking to snag a pair of brand new earbuds, I highly suggest the Raycons. Like I said, link down below in the description. You get a discount. Click the link down in the description down below. Huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day. So make sure video for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoot! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. We are starting the day here at the ranch. <sighs> Beautiful day out here. It's actually super nice. You would think it'd be cooler out. It's like, I don't know, 55, 60 today, sunny. It is, in fact, now trapping season, which means we gotta get these predators under control. The amount of predators I have on trail cameras is honestly insane. We've got coyotes, we've got bobcats, families, and I mean extended families, your second cousin's grandmother's daughter's friend is here too the whole family are here with raccoons i mean i've never seen so many raccoons in one place in my entire life tons of coyotes tons of uh, bobcats and all that stuff so one thing we're going to try to do first since there are so many raccoons to start there raccoons are easiest to trap takes the least amount of time and we don't really want to make a ton of ruckus since it is still deer season so you know when we're just doing little dog proofs and stuff like that for raccoons it's not super invasive or intrusive into the uh, the area for the deer and we're going to try to stay out of those areas as good as we can but at the end of the day the raccoons leave, live where the deer live and these are predators i mean they raid nests they eat turkey eggs you know they, i mean shoot i've had my own pet turkeys getting eaten by raccoons so they don't do any good and like i said there's a bunch of them and that's probably gonna be the easiest thing for us to start with is wipe out some raccoon populations then starts a coyote and bobcat because coyote and bobcat kind of go hand in hand but the bobcat season opens isn't open right now so i don't want to accidentally catch one because like, then i have, would have to release it and well that defeats the whole purpose so we're going to start with raccoons today and we're going to run and gun here and try to get them set out as quickly as possible we waited until it was optimal time to go make a ruckus in the woods which is like 1 p.m but over here that's it that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, dog that's food, the huh? that's the secret yeah. dog food we've got nasty fish oil and then dog proof traps lots of them i think we probably got maybe a dozen of these suckers in here so we're gonna go run around the woods set these suckers out um we'll have to mark where we set them out and hopefully get some raccoons down on the ground the goal would be to i mean we gotta make a den as you guys saw in the pictures there is just i've never seen so many raccoons i mean like you'll literally see eight of them in one trail camera photo there's hunt i bet there's i bet there's hundreds of them in those woods so today's objective is to start setting some traps out hopefully start killing off the population and hopefully catching cookie you, you feeling raccoons too or what are you thinking yeah. you ever eaten yeah. raccoon I, think, yeah, I will tell you it's not. It's not beaver. No. They're greasy, but I think they taste. They're greasy. I've heard. No, they're greasy. Yeah, they're greasy. It's, I would think a beaver. Would they're be like raccoon. But. You have you, you had fried gizzards before? Yeah, yeah. I actually taste like tastes similar. If you like, if you like oh, that, like it's like a, a fried dark meat that's a little chewy. Uh, it's a bit like a miniature bear. Miniature bear, they, they kind of, they look like they look like a little panda, a little trash panda, panda. yeah. Trash so panda. they they they're not bad. I definitely we will cook them if we catch any. We will cook them. I, we've done a lot of fried like fried little nuggets and stuff, and they just taste like fried gizzards are okay. But I think we're gonna maybe do some low and slow stuff, maybe some barbecue, something like that. Hopefully make them taste a little bit better. So you guys stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Operation Kill the Raccoons is in effect. We're, we gotta be quiet just on this set. We are in the thickness. This is where the big bucks have been showing up. So what do you do when it's the middle of the year season a big buck show up? You go set raccoon traps. That's just what you do. So anyone have a silence 22? How are we gonna dispatch these suckers without letting the woods know? Shovel, 
spear maybe? <laughs> you can knock him with a hammer. Crack a hammer to the dome? That's where Goo Goo cut. Yeah. So, it's called a dog proof, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're part of the Weenie Hut Junior Club like I am, get yourself one of these trap setters. I didn't know these were a thing until like year three of trapping. Now, if you've just got Gorilla Grip Strength, you can just, which actually, this one's actually not that bad. You can do this, but for you youngsters maybe, or you first time trappers, you take this, you flip this down, and you grab it like that, and then you can see it goes behind right there and it catches. Pull this out, and now it's set. If you stick your hand in there, you will be now referred to as nubs because you won't be having another finger. So now it's set, it's locked, and ready to go. Oh, camera. I'll, yeah, and I'll position it. Okay, camera. perfect, perfect. Yeah. Trapping steak. Oh yeah, I don't really want to make a bunch of noise, so we're just gonna do this. Steak's in, take your doggy proof. Push that in, in for bait. As you saw, we've got nasty fish oil and dog food. Honestly, I like cat food better. It's got mm -hmm. more of a fit. Yeah, it's got fish. But Millie and Lucy had quite a bit, so I figured this would be easy. So go ahead and throw some in. If you spill a couple, it's not a big deal. Now, there's a, you, have you trapped a lot with these, Jake? Uh, no, not really. So there's like a thing. Some people fill it all the way to the top, really? and they can eat. Or the way I have it set right now is basically if they put their hand in there, they're dead. It's gonna go so off. I've never really found like a clean. I, mean, I can make it if you want to do like you have a couple freebies. So there's like, oh, what's this? What's this strat? I'll just drizzle a little bit in it, a little bit on it, a little bit around it. This maple syrup works good too. So you can do maple syrup. It's either sweet or fish is usually the strat I go for. So if you want it, if you want raccoons, you, I mean you can put in literally anything you want that's got a sweet candy flavor or you go with like a meaty fishy smell something like that so trap number one has been set we are in the thick of it let's go set another look at the highway buddy let me see there's another trip that, that's a raccoon trail there so you've got like a, a split this is obviously where they're coming down so we're just gonna set one right at the base it'd be a guaranteed catch and you got to make sure this thing goes in between before you do it otherwise you got to redo it Whew. Hair trigger there, so <laughs> take the dog food, fill it on up. That's it. This is why dog proofs the best. Yeah. So fast. You could put up like a hundred of these in one day. So, anyways, now you guys get the idea of it. Setting out traps. Let's go set some more. Definitely. This is definitely a good spot. So we almost left. And then I see this. And I don't think deer climbing down into that hole. If I was a deer, I would. But the raccoons are climbing up and around, so I'd plop. We got one more in the bucket for this spot. So I think, I think this spot should work. If you guys are looking for places to put them, any place by water, you even said you have them, but by your pond. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can see their tracks right on the edge where it's shallow. So if you have ponds, those are guarantees. This is like a low river, what do you call it? It's like a ravine. Yep. I guess like a low, a low spot. You could put these up on higher st higher spots, but you're probably gonna be better off like some where the creeks run, where the rainwater goes and stuff like that. Since they're, they're scavengers and predators, they're gonna go after like anything that kind of runs the bottoms. So I think this is kind of a no brainer spot. So let's get another one set out. Shoo! All right, now we... <laughs> We can actually be like decently loud. Well, I mean, maybe big, big Chungus is sitting over there, but now we were in his, we were in his honey hole. Let's do one here, and then Chris, you're saying that you saw some down that creek. Yep, about a hundred yards down. Okay, I've got several on camera. Okay, so we'll we'll put one here because this is like, give me two seconds here. Let me see if my spidey senses are tingling. I don't know if the ground's not soft enough to catch it, but there should be. I'm a dumbass. I wonder where the raccoons are. <laughs> Duh. Right here. I didn't even see this trail. I was looking over there and I'm going, yeah, that would be a raccoon trail right there, my guy. Perfect raccoon trail. I mean, could be deer too, I'm sure. I'd probably just put it like right here. Right there? Yeah. I'd say right there, because that way if it, they're, what they're doing is they just walk this ravine, they go up and they jump into the neighbor's cornfield, I'm sure. It's kind of what their their strat is. Oh, that was, that's the easy one to set. Did you set yeah, that? Yeah, set it. Yeah, so, okay, so for those of you guys that are trying to get in raccoon trapping, this isn't a promotion for these guys. I honestly don't even know what yeah, brand it is. Clips right but it's, there. you just squeeze it and it clips. Like, you don't, there's no setter, so. Do you, 
I want, I will talk a little crap on them. The one thing about them is they get really rusty, mm -hmm. which you could always paint them. And like, they're not long-term. Like I've known guys that have like dog priests for 10 years. Those, I wouldn't say, I have to buy new ones every year, which is, it gets expensive, obviously. But if you just want it, you literally just squeeze it and it just snaps. So set it off. There you go. See, then it, it holds it. And then all you gotta do is squeeze it and reset it, done. Like when you're talking about efficiency, this is the one to get, but I've had a lot of them break and malfunction. So it's just kind of one of those, like you get what you pay for and they're not cheap. They're not cheap either. But if you're trying to get into it for the first time, I would probably recommend these because they're easy, easier to set, um, less likely to hurt yourself doing it. And you can always paint them. And as long as you take care of them, like I don't take care of my stuff for the most part, it seems like if you take care of them, they'll be all right. So anyways, so we're gonna set one right here on this trail. Hopefully we get big chungus, stay tuned. Shoo! All righty, this is uh, this is this is you. Oh my! You're leading okay. you're leading the way here. Jake, Jake, you getting all the goods back there? Probably should get probably should get the traps before we get too excited. How many we want to do? How many we want to do down there? Is there sp enough, enough space to do two? Oh, absolutely. Okay, let's do two because this is. Oh, we have a lot of traps. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, geez. We still got like ten. Oh, geez. Take three. Okay. We saw families out here, huh? Oh, this yeah. is this is where. Yeah. yeah, let's do let's rock three pack on this one. I didn't realize we had so many. Sheesh. Yeah, we're definitely going three. So this spot that we're at it's kind of hard to describe everything but we're on like the north pasture we've got one food plot over this hill one food plot over that hill then we've got that desert plot right in the middle and then the ponds like way down the other side so we're like on the far north side kind of hard to describe exactly where we're at but we good we got all the stuff we got everything all right so this is chris put a trail camera out here have we seen many bucks on this one? I can't keep any of these straight, to be Zero. honest. Zero. We've seen one deer. Oh, really? Yeah. We're, oh, we're so, we're this, so this is a good <laughs> So this is a good raccoon spot, is it's what you're telling me. Cam. It's the coon cam. Perfect. That works for me. Like, I've never. I will say, I've, I've been to a lot of places on my property. I've, I never walked over here in my life. I let my boys pick it for you. Oh, that they picked a good trapping spot, yeah, exactly. which is honestly worth a lot because sometimes it's hard to find good spots to trap raccoons. Um, they walk at the height of a raccoon. Yeah, so true, true. They kind of They're one with the raccoon, so you're telling me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys literally went in it. Was this the day it was raining? Yeah. You guys were just bored, bored in the rain and just started walking? Oh yeah. Oh my god, oh wow. Yeah, we're so good at oh, this is definitely it. raccoon territory. So drop off to the west here, that's where the ditch and the creek would be. Yeah, so there's a creek over here. So for some reason we just get crazy amounts of raccoons in this little area and I don't really, I mean, I would honestly just put like one, two, three. We could, okay. If you want to leave the camera, because I'm going to have to come back here and check them anyways. Oh, sure. We'll put one right in front of the camera. Heck yeah, there was it, like three of them in the camera, like right. They probably, put one in that this, is, right this is a good pinch right here. So yeah, we, I'd put one there for sure, because this is, this is their pinch point. But you don't want to have them too close to each other. Yeah. So we could do one here, find where their exit is, and then maybe like one in the middle or one something. down close to the creek. Or yeah, we could put one, yeah, let's put one down by, closer by the creek. I think that's, that's a good game plan here. So, like so. Oh, About that is the worst thing that can happen. Where's your little stick? Here, here, here. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it don't. It scares you more than anything. It don't. It shouldn't I mean, hurt. It didn't but hit me or at all. I mean, there's nothing really there that can like hurt you, unless you stick your finger in it. But yeah. Wow. No wonder it went off. It's a little little hair trigger on that one. E. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> we've got two, I think we got two duds on this one. <laughs> Go. You're like, well, PTSD. PTSD now, son. <laughs> okay. Alright, now she's, she's hot. Might even just get him a little excited. That'll get him fired up. Oh god, yeah. Sheesh. Alrighty, well, let's get two more set out.
Alrighty, folks. What do you think, Chris? You think you got any clover going? We got one. Or just one. This is clover, eh? Or yeah. no? Yeah, that's clover. Yeah, yeah. We're getting some germination. Oh, okay, okay. Just needed Look more heat. It'll come up, up in the thatch. Look at it coming. It's in there. If you if you think if we burnt this in the spring, would it all come flying up, or does it not work that way? I would see what germinates in the spring. If yeah. Burn it off. Because if you burn it, is there dormant seeds that would then come up, or am I just am I making I'm stuff up sure at this on point? That end of the clover yeah. thing. So. You think so? I think so. I, I don't know enough about this agriculture really about business. We call this the desert plot because we want it to be a clover plot and it looks like the Sahara Desert. But believe it or not, there's more deer that walk at this highway than any other spot. Not necessarily like giant bucks. We have seen big bucks out here, but we've got the double stand there. That's where we try to shoot crows, me and Banjo. And we see raccoons on this camera all the stinking time. All the time we're seeing them on this camera right here. So we've got like a deer scrape. So put like right here in front of the side by side. We can stick one here and then I was thinking we'll go here and then we might go there and then we might go there and then we might go there. Kind of load this up because this is a really, really nice highway for trapping. And that's pretty much going to be it. That's going to be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, at least 11, maybe, maybe 12. So Check, hold on, look at this. what's going on over here? Some raccoon poop? Yeah. Really? Oh, here it was. oh, this is what you're trying to get me to see. For three, three months it took. Three months? Yeah. Yeah, that was as it. You didn't, oh, you didn't plant it. it. Didn't touch it. Oh, I thought you planted no, it. I didn't even touch it. Look at that guy. Giant. Yeah. Little youngster. Yeah. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about raccoon poop over there? Oh, geez, I thought you planted that. No, that's what's been there, huh? As is, didn't touch it. Oh, yeah, I, I never I never saw that. I feel like I haven't looked for, sh like, I've been paying attention for sheds unless it's like in shed season. That's what's going on there? Is that one? Well, giving you fits a little bit kinked a little trigger on this one being a little, little sketchy yeah don't worry it, don't worry about it if you can't get that one because that's as i told you those are nice when they're brand new yeah when they're not brand new a little junked yeah which is funny because they're only like a year old they're really not that really? old it's just it just happens yeah I, I i could be wrong but i don't think the trigger is supposed to be on it right now right no there so there's a pin that goes there so that's trash <laughs> so, this, so i wasn't lying they're they're good starters but if you want to use them for years they, they're 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 garbage like i'm just being honest with y'all that one looks fine that one looks fine you got your little setter yeah, yeah, yeah i got you you need to paint them powder coat something. and then you need to wash them and bathe them and feed and burp them it's like my baby <laughs> yeah that's basically if you want children they, they, they work fine otherwise you just get setters like this and it's not that big of a deal, but wow, son! Oh, <gasps> that's also an easy way to push them down once they're already set. Otherwise, you start farting around and kicking or whatever. Next thing you know, you don't have a pinky. So, just trying to teach you youngsters or new newbies, because I'm also a newbie and I've learned the hard way sometimes. Not with a dog proof, but I've snapped my finger a time or two, and it's not really enjoyable. Doggy food. That's it. Oh, all right, last one on the desert plot. We're just straight across from the other one. Basically, if we've got a raccoon that's coming down the highway here, he should get in between one of these two. But like I said, when you're setting these suckers, just take your, take your pipe here and use it to shove. You want this thing, this thing has to be pretty anchored because raccoons, they're smart. If they know they can just knock it over, they'll knock it over and spill it rather than stick their hand in it. So you really want to make sure it's as far down as it can go. And then you want to make sure it's obviously staked down because we don't want raccoons walking around with some jewelry, you know what I'm saying? All right, dog food. And oil. See, when you got a crew, it goes pretty pretty darn quick. But again, for those of you guys that are starting out trapping, never done before, this is the way. This is how everyone should start trapping. It's the easiest, most effective. You're gonna, your success rate's gonna be pretty good. Hopefully, I think that was 12, close to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We set five over there, two, so seven. We was it three, three over down there? The south end. So that's 10. And then one on that trail, 11? Mm -hmm. I think 11. 11. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Shoo! It's the next day, ladies and gentlemen. Time to check them raccoon traps. We did set some cameras out. And well, I got some footage of raccoons not giving two flying you know what about the traps. They ate the food that I dropped on the ground and kept going on their way. And I saw that happen to two or three of the traps. So not a good sign. Um, but you know, two or three out of the 12 traps um, isn't that, you know, isn't that much. There's obviously still other opportunities, but 
I did go to the store and buy, after I saw that last night, I went and bought some cat food. I figured it's better. It's got more of a fishy flavor, which, I mean, I put fish oil on it. Should be all right, I would think. But uh, I also brought some marshmallows. So marshmallows, uh, you can stick down in there and uh, basically when the raccoons try to grab the marshmallow out, it should hopefully set off or something. You know, that's kind of, the, kind of the plan. So I got some backup stuff just in case we didn't get anything. Um, I'm really hoping we did. If, if I can't catch these suckers with dog proofs, we're screwed. There's hundreds of raccoons out here, and out of 12 traps, you would think you'd get one. And I know they went by it because we saw them on camera, but it just didn't seem like they really did a whole lot of uh, trapping. So, anyways, we'll see what we got. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, first spot, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We've got, I swear we put, oh God, oh my God. Whew. Why'd that scare me? You just saw fear in my eye. Holy crap, I was gonna say, I swear we saw one. Well, we got something, folks. Um, it's not a raccoon, but I mean, he is a predator if I've ever seen one, and he looks freaking pissed. He's pissed. <laughs> oh, buddy. You are one nasty son of a gun. Don't bite me, Mr. Possum. Now, some of you guys are maybe possum lovers, some of you are not. I've released them, I've trapped them, I've kept them, I've killed them. The one thing about these suckers is they love raiding nests. And when you are managing a property like the ranch here, you want the turkeys to thrive, you want the pheasants to thrive, quail to thrive, all of that stuff. And these guys don't do that. They eat ticks. Now, they do eat ticks, I will say that, so that's a plus. But I would much rather wear tick spray and hopefully not get Lyme disease than to not have any you know, good turkey population, pheasant population, or whatever. So, with that being said, it's time for this guy to be blinded by the light. Now, if you're watching this on Uncut, this is what we're dealing with right here. So you guys get to see all of this in its glory. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you definitely didn't see what I was just holding, but you guys know the drill. Let's blind him by the light. Blinded by the light. All right, well, we got one predator down. First trap, success. Let's go check the rest of the traps. All right, well, buddy's toasted. Gotta keep that thing on me. Shout out to Chris for the puke. I forgot mine. I don't see anything in the ravine. Let's go ahead and check that guy first. So we've got one. Oh yeah, I remember we stuck one down here. Nothing, I thought, oh, oh. Oh, there's something here. We got another one. It's another possum. What up, Junior? Shee! Yeah, possums are thick in this son of a cat. I'll tell you that much. Again, at the end of the day, a predator's a predator, and you're going home with me. Blinded by the light. That's two, baby. Let's keep checking them. All right, well, I checked that third trap and pulled it, because I'm not going to be back here for the next probably two or three days. Nothing. So we got two. Two out of three ain't bad, but it ain't at any of the raccoons. Possums do damage, but raccoons for sure do more than possums. Like, for sure do more. Um, again, at the end of the day, possums, I've let some go, you know, whatever. But, you know, at my house, I'm not trying to raise turkeys, or not raise, but you know, make a really good environment for turkeys, pheasants, but here I am. So, here, any predator gets blinded by the light. So, let's go check more traps. Shoo! All right, we are entering the desert. Make sure there's no deer out here. May enter the desert plot. I see if there are deer. Too late now. Uh, desert plot, here we are. This is where I've seen lots and lots and lots and lots of raccoons on camera. Like I said, I put a camera on this one I never saw, but then that don't mean nothing because my first two traps had possums, which is, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, technically. So, I mean, cameras don't really mean a whole lot, I guess, on certain, certain places. But like I said, we only had, what, two or three cameras out and we had a bunch of traps, so. Let's see what we got cooking up in here. We got maybe potentially, I don't know, nope, I nothing on that one. What about over up? So there's one right there. That's a scrape one. I, I stuck one over. Where did I stick this one? Somewhere in, over in this area, didn't I? See, all the food is eating around it, but not. Are they that smart? Are they really that smart? They ate the food around it, so clearly they're here. Are they that smart? I don't think, there's no way they're that smart, right? These raccoons have never been trapped. At least to my knowledge, not recently, I guess not to my knowledge, but they ate the food around it. Well, like I said, I'm not gonna be here the next couple days, so I'm gonna pull these suckers. Get the anchors out of the ground, we'll come reset them next time we're hunting. Oh, God, yeah. That one didn't have anything. This one right here did not have anything. Let me guess, they ate all the food around it, and they didn't touch anything on the inside. Ow. I feel like my trapping senses are off. I feel like I need to I need to step up my game. I need to get back. I used to be the Raccoon Slayer 3000. That was me. That was my nickname in high school. Just kidding, I didn't trap in high school. But it's interesting that they they were here. Like we were in the right areas. That camera right there literally got them on here. 
All right, five down. Shoot, that means we only got like six left. Man, I really hope I got more than some freaking pot. I don't like eating possums. They just, you know, they don't really do it for me. I just need one raccoon. Hey, raccoons aren't the greatest tasting either, but they're definitely better than possums. Plus, I feel like you eat a possum, there's a good chance you're just gonna die from whatever. I think they carry Lyme disease. Or no, that's ticks. Well, do these things carry your Lyme disease? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, let's go keep checking traps. All right, if we don't have any here, I'm gonna be furious. I feel, what, how do we get in? I think this is how we did it. This is where we set three of them. So this is, a, I mean, this was like a good bulk set. I'm pretty sure it was right in this. Is it in this neck of the woods? So this is the scary part. I'm just gonna start walking. Carry, let me carry this freaking pew with me. This is the scary, you started walk. Oh my God, we got one. We got, well, buddy, I see you. You're hiding behind, we got him. Yes, 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 we got a raccoon. Yes, yes, he's down, he's down. Let's go, buddy. Jeez, he's pissed. He's freaking pissed. He's gonna beat my ass. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You quit, quit eating the damn turkeys and everything else. Look at him. Raccoons are low key cute. I always forget that. But then you just gotta remember they eat all. I mean, we've heard about raccoons attacking baby fawns and, and stuff like that. I mean, again, predators cannot fly here at the ranch. We are all about managing wildlife, getting the pheasant, the quail, the turkey, ducks, geese, any type of bird, any type of any critter. We're trying to make sure that they have the best chances possible at succeeding in life. And that guy makes it pretty darn hard now, doesn't it? All right, well, for those of you guys watching on YouTube, he's gonna get blinded by life. For those of you guys watching on Uncut, you're about to watch it happen. Blinded by the light. All right, while he does his thing, let's check the rest of these traps. Oh, we got another one! We got the double! We got the double! Oh my gosh! I just blinded that one by the light. He's sitting there, you know, being blinded. And we got another, right? We got the double trouble, Ricky! That's what, I knew this spot was the deal. I knew it. I could just tell this is the spot. All right, well, number two. Adios, my guy. Blinded by the light. Well, as you can see, one down there. And, oh, buddy's around the corner here. And one down right over there. Now we got, I see one trap not set off. Right in front, this is the one with the camera. There was there was raccoons on it last night that just kept kept on doing raccoon things. So nothing on there. All right, nothing there. So nothing there, nothing there. And then I didn't, did I set one more down here? Nothing, really? See, these raccoons must've been smarter because they came through here. Yeah, there's, that's three empties right there. All right, I'll get this three pulled and go check the rest. Phew, all right, every trap except one. Has been checked. I feel good about this one. This one's definitely gonna have one. Calling it right stinking now. Oh, oh, what do we got? Possum, let's go, buddy. Sheesh, not bad for one night. What up, Junior? You're just a little squeaky, 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 aren't you? Three possums and a raccoon. So five critters out of 11 traps. That's a 50% ratio. Why is that light bar on? 50%. Ratio, that's pretty darn good, honestly. Again, for just one night and not, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty rusty with the trapping right now as far as locations, bait. I gotta get back in my routine, but this was, this was good. I mean, it's a good confidence booster for me. Good confidence booster to get the season kicked off. Again, just, it might just be a slow and steady race, onesie twosies here and there, but go ahead and get her done. So anyways, let's go ahead and blind this guy by the light. Blinded by the light. See you guys back at the uh, cabin. We'll show Chris what we got, stay tuned. Damn. What you doing with all that ass? My butt. What you doing with all that ass? Well, we killed stuff. We did? We trapped stuff. What yeah. did we get? Check, check, check it out. Check oh out boy. check out the harvest. You're kidding. Sheesh. Three. Oh, he's still <laughs> kicking. I must not have done a good job shooting that guy. Oh, well, at least you got a hammer. It's all, it's all you need. No kidding. Two raccoons and three possums. Five out of 11 traps. Nice work. Did decent. These two these two guys were on the last one. Remember we set the three by the camera that never got any deer. Right, right. And then we were walking out. I was like, look at that trail and look at that trail. Those where the two were. Up where we parked. Up, up where we parked. That's no the way. only place we got raccoons. The rest were just possums. Nice. Yeah, so we got. After what we saw last we got time. Some right? We got some harvest. Yeah, I was telling everybody that we, we had some mishaps and stuff. Some of the traps, I stuck a rod in there and they didn't go off so i'm gonna buy just new traps i think these are kind of rusty and right. to where like they might have been digging in there and not get so i'm gonna just go ahead and buy some new ones but anyways we got some fur i'm impressed to, to skin have you ever skinned a raccoon one time okay yeah, well that's, ago. that's about what i've got we just got to hang them up and we'll try skinning them so again you guys obviously aren't going to see this if you're watching on youtube you're not going to see it. if you're watching this on uncut then you'll get to see us with skin and don't judge my skinning it's not amazing but we're going to skin them we're going to take some meat off and we're going to cook some raccoons so you guys stay tuned 
<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, it is Sunday morning. The morning you guys are watching this video. Um, nothing gets me more excited than Sunday morning breakfast of champions, which is raccoon legs. Like I said, if you watch this on Google Uncut, you showed me or you saw me skinning it. Um, not super good at it, but I think good enough. Um, and I'm gonna instapot this sucker. So. I've had this sucker marinating in here uh, for about two days now, and it's been put in, I put in Worcestershire sauce and a lot of this guy, Duck Smoky Barbecue, lots of that, and uh, some soy sauce. That actually doesn't smell too bad. So, like I said, we're instapotting it. Oh yeah, and then I gotta make, I'm making some beef, what do you call it? beef stock, like chicken stock. So there's this stuff, which is premium beef base, okay? And yes, I'm filming this by myself on a tripod, so if stuff's not in focus, I apologize. I got three cups of warm water here, and that calls for, oh, they made me do math. Three quarter teaspoon for one cup. Why wouldn't you just say one teaspoon? You're telling me a quarter, a quarter teaspoon. A quarter teaspoon matters, really. All right, so I gotta do, wow, this is gonna take forever. Okay, let me think about this. I need, I need something else here. So I need, I think, so three, no, one, one, holy shit. Three quarters for one cup, and there's three cups, so it'd be nine quarters, I think. There's definitely some better math I could be doing here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. So three, okay, let me think about this. So if it's nine quarters, so that would be, holy shit, this is why I didn't go to school. Nine quarters, if there was eight quarters, that would be, Two. So there's four quarters and one, and there's eight of them. So that's two full teaspoons, right? Two full teaspoons plus, and I, okay, so I just got, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. So one full teaspoon right here, and then one of the, I just did one quarter, so. We're good, this is why I didn't go to school. Math is important, stay in school, folks. Uh, Cause you may, if you're starting to cook stuff, you might need to know some math. Google also probably tell you, so I don't know if I would, suggest going to college just to figure out that equation. But, you know, you do whatever you want. So go ahead and mix this up. I know this angle sucks, you guys can't see. I know, I know, I know. Like I said, I'm by myself Sunday morning, trying to get this cooked up for you guys so you guys got some videos to watch. Anyways, now we're gonna take this whisk and whisk it in. Like I said, this just ma it makes your own broth, basically. And I don't know a whole lot about Instapots, but when I was looking up, I looked up like turkey leg, recipes and I feel like you don't want to throw this meat in there dry like it'll I don't know what it'll do but um, you want it to be wet but I'm like water just doesn't make sense I feel like you want some flavor in there and so and I is either chicken broth or beef broth but ooh that actually smells pretty good beef would be better than chicken since it's a dark meat so we're gonna go ahead and throw got that ready to go so we got our beef broth made like I said it's warm water and then our legs Let's see, we'll go ahead and grab, grab these guys so you guys can see them. But if you, like I said, if you want to see me skin them, you got to go to Google, Google Uncut. But there you go. There's, there's your raccoon leg. So we're going to drop him in to the pot. And then I also grabbed a little bit of backstrap. Just a, just a little bit. So we'll toss him in there just for fun as well. See what he comes out like. But marinating for two days, this is the most work I've ever done for a raccoon. So I'm hoping it's good. I mean, it is a lot of meat and these were small raccoons, quite a bit of meat. So toss these guys in. And you could probably chuck in the marinade, all this Worcestershire sauce. And since I'm not a wasteful person, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Go ahead and dump that in. Beef broth for that. Oh wow, what the hell, why are we spilling? I'll just do that, it, I don't need all of it. And then I did get some barbecue sauce. Since I'm not, I'm going for like the pulled pork strat. That's kind of the plan here. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I figured anything that's just doused, absolutely doused in sauce is probably going to help that flavor since I know raccoon, raccoon's not awful flavor, it's just not amazing. So we're gonna get some barbecue sauce down in there to let that, and I'll probably, when I pull it out, I'll try it off the bone, but I might even like debone it and like literally make pulled pork and make like a little sandwich with it. I'm not really sure. We'll just kind of have to see. I just, I figured if I marinated a bunch and put in a bunch of seasonings and sauces that we should be in decent shape here. So I'm go ahead and throw in some barbecue sauce, quite a bit. And then we're gonna load this sucker back up with some duck smoky barbecue. So go ahead and give her one of these. Some more in there. 
And Instapot, like the turkeys and stuff, I think they were calling for like 20 minutes or so. That's the nice thing about the Instapot is it's really quick. Let's go ahead and mix this up just a little bit. Make sure that sauce is covered and everything. Oh gosh, yeah. Just so you guys can see what it looks like. It is completely covered, sauce is mixed in, into the beef broth, into the Worcestershire, into the soy, and into the smoky barbecue. That whole concoction, hopefully, will make this taste good. How's this going to work? Am I missing something? Okay, it's locked. Shoot, what do I hit? What, what do we think this? This is a slow cook. This is a soup rust. It's a meat stew. What do you think this one is? I'd say meat stew, right? Okay, 20 minutes on high pressure meat stew mode. You guys stay tuned. All right, we are. Well, hey, how's it going over here? We are. Let's move this over. We're letting the steam out. I don't know if this thing cooked right. It said 18 minutes. I went inside, came back out about 20 minutes later, and it said 15 minutes. So either. This thing can't count or something done goose. So I have no idea if this is cooked or not. Maybe the timer went off and I didn't hear it or something like that and then just like reset. Oh God, I mean, that looks warm. Sheesh. Pull this sucker out. Does it fall off the bone? Ooh, look at that, fell right off the bone. Oh my gosh, it's falling off the bone. Like, literally, there's meat that came off of the bone that's in there. Dude, what if this is just filet mignon? I'm by myself, because like I said, Sunday morning, everyone's got the day off today. It's like Chick-fil-A up in this bitch. So, wow, this looks really good. Not gonna lie, this looks so good. If this is good, I might have to save some and have Banjo try it when he gets back. Absolutely amazing. I mean, look at the harvest. Dude, it smells good. We might be onto something, boys. We just might be onto something here. Watch this, you ready for this off the bone thing? Look, it's literally pulled pork. Like it just comes off. Look at a little piece right there. Here we go. Lucy, oh my God, I might have figured something out. We might have done it. Oh my gosh. The one time we cook raccoon good, I'm by myself. There is no way you would know that's raccoon. We might we might have cracked the raccoon code. Raccoon is one of the only animals that we harvest on a, on a regular basis that we have yet to cook where we're like, wow, this is actually really good, not just like, oh, this is edible. That came right off the leg here. Cause there was a little bit of back strap in there. So I don't know if that's what I got or not, but this is definitely off the leg. Oh my God. That is even better. I'm not lying when I say this. This might be up there with beaver. I know. This is, cr I have to go catch more raccoons and do this and, and have the boys try this. The reason why I'm not, they're not here is because literally I'm, uh, I'm filming this on Sunday and y'all are watching this on Sunday if you watch it the day I upload it. So it's like, I didn't have time to wait because I wanted you guys to have a video for Sunday. I wish Macy would try it because she would honestly like it. This is so good, dude. Off the leg. Mm. My goodness. I cracked the raccoon, which is so good because we catch a lot of raccoons or hopefully we will. And now we can actually harvest all of them. Oh my, I'm not even using any dipping sauce. I'm literally just eating it fresh off the cutting board. I'm gonna try dipping it a little bit. Here we go, boys. Little dip ski. Oh my God, this is life changing. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. I've, I swear somebody like switched the meat in the fridge or something. Banjo's not gonna believe it. He won't, there's no way. Y'all gotta get one of these Instapots. This is, I'm like, I'm about to clear this. This is literally gonna be my lunch for the day. It was freaking hot still. I'm literally about to clear this whole freaking plate. Oh rip, rip. Oh, not on the robe, son of a. When I say good, I mean like, I would rate this like, a nine to nine and a half out of 10. I mean, it dead ass competes with some of the, like, the best pulled pork or pulled beef, I guess you could call it, I've ever had in my entire life. If you cut this up and slice it and put it on a sandwich, no one on this planet would know that it's raccoon, nobody. I've always heard like barbecue raccoons like this myth of a meal that supposedly is good. Mm, absolutely fire. So recap, a little bit of soy sauce, quite a bit of Worcestershire, smoky barbecue in the bag for 24 to 48 hours, marinate it. Take it out, make that beef broth, throw some seasoning in it, throw some barbecue sauce. We did it for 20 minutes on meat stew, high pressure, turn it off, let it chill out. Absolute game changing way to catch raccoons. Cook raccoons, 
I know a lot of you guys, any of you guys that trap probably catch raccoons. You should, you honestly have to try it. There's a lot of times I'm like, guys, this is fire. You got, um, I've eaten a lot of raccoon. I've tried it fried. I've tried it every way, a barbecue. We've done raccoon jerky. Nothing even comes close to this right here. Nothing even comes close. Lucy, Mel, you want some? What do you think about that? Oh, doggy approved. That's a really big thing. <laughs> what do you mean? Just take a bite of half of it. Banjo is not here to verify my culinary opinion. Why are you why are you freaking out? Just take a bite. Oh my gosh, you have a chaser? Are you serious? <laughs> this isn't a tequila shot. Just take a nibble. Okay, a nibble's not the What are you talking about? What are you doing? It is literally just a chunk of meat. You are gonna like it, I promise. There you go, that's it. You have to put it in your mouth, that's what she said. It, Man, it's, it, it's yeah. good, it's good. <laughs> I just can't mentally do it. What, just swallow it. No. <laughs> what? Wait, what, you won't? Why? Where are you, are you, what is wrong with you? The taste is fine, like it's good, but I can't mentally <laughs> bring myself to like eat it. Why not? Because I know what it is. Do you know what it is? Yeah. What is it? Raccoon. No. Oh. What's wrong with it? Oh my god. Oh my, there's so, you have. One, One more bite. One more bite. I tasted it. One more bite. One more bite. You told me I can get whatever I wanted. We never negotiated that. <laughs> It, oh my god, that is so good. You have to like taste it. I'm not saying that it's not good. I'm but just saying that I meant you gotta to chew it up. actually eat. You just literally licked the barbecue would, sauce. You licked the barbecue sauce and you're like, mm, it's not bad. No, but I could like, I can tell the meat is like tender. Yeah. Give it one more bite. There, that was a good one. Uh huh. What is, who eats food like this? You are just, where, why are you spitting it on the floor? Because one of the dogs will eat it. <sighs> okay, well, what are you gonna rate that? Like, well, I don't know. You didn't <laughs> taste it, so you tell me. Well, I can't be like, oh, it's a nine. Well, if you tasted it, you could. <laughs> You're not helping the video right now, okay? <laughs> like, I would say it's really close to pulled pork. Yeah, like a good pulled. Pork. It's better than pulled pork. You would, you would, you would know if you actually ate it. It is better than pulled pork <laughs> because it's more tender. Isn't that right, Lucy? Lucy. There you go. It's more tender than Millie. You need some. There you go, Millie. Finn, you want a little bite, buddy? There you go. Yeah, I think it's better than pulled pork. I really do because it's pulled pork is kind of dry. It's, a, it's dry, and you have to like soak it in barbecue sauce in order to like get the moisture, so you can like it's palatable. Like you can literally just peel this off the bone. It reminds me more of like a brisket, like a. It's no, not a brisket. Brisket is tough. Maybe it's not brisket. Brisket is like. You have to slice brisket. Like, what has what's like a pot roast? Like a pot roast, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's like shreds. Dang. It's stuck in my teeth now. Pot roast meat, like stew meat. Yeah. That's what. What, what kind of brisket. what cut of meat is that? Uh, I think I chuck roast. Chuck roast. Okay, yeah. it's I, I would say it's probably as close to chuck roast as you can get. Super good. Dogs approve. You tasted it and approved it, but you didn't eat it. So we're gonna go ahead, and, go ahead and approve it, but. I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of this stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Remember, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you hunt raccoons, you trap raccoons, whatever it is, you gotta try cooking it the way I did. It's super, you, can, you don't have to skin the whole thing. Just literally skin the back of it, hack off the back two legs. That's what these were, these were not the front loop legs, they were the back legs. Hack them off, marinate them for a day, cook them, and it is the best tasting meat you've ever stuck in your mouth. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one, and peace.